Now we will do the book exercise, okay? We will start with question A. Take the groups of words that are sentences. Full stop. Remember, comma, a sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop, okay? So let us start with number one. The girl is selling eggs. So children, you can see this sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. So, these group of words begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop and make a complete sense. So, this is a sentence. Okay? So, put a tick mark like this. Next, number two. Two school every day so children is it a sentence no because it did not begins with a capital letter or ends with a full stop okay then leave it number three the basket is on the woman's head full stop is it a sentence yes because it starts with a capital letter and ends with a full stop and yes it make complete sense so put a tick mark like this now next one pilot h i r e n heron is a is it a sentence no then leave it number five it is raining it is raining okay so you can see the first letter of this sentence is a capital letter and the sentence ends with a full stop okay and it gives us a complete meaning or sense, okay? You can see in this picture, it is raining. So, put a tick mark like this, okay? I hope you all have understood. Now, let us move to the next one. Asking, A-S-K-I-N-G, asking questions. Read these sentences. Let us read. I-S is, R-E-K-H-A, Rekha, a teacher, Question mark. Is Rekha a teacher? Does, D-O-E-S, does Rekha teach maths? Question mark. Do you love your teacher? Question mark. So these sentences ask something. Full stop. They are called questions. A question always ends with a question mark. This is a sign of question marks. So children, all these sentences are questions. Okay. So when a sentence asks something, is it is called a question. Okay. And a question always starts with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Okay. Is Rekha a teacher? Here I is capital and at the end of the sentence question mark is given. Okay. Next. Does Rekha teach maths? Here D is also written in capital form. And the sentence ends with a question mark. Now do you love your teacher? Here again you can see D is capital. Do you love your teacher? And the, at the end of the sentence, question mark is given. Okay? I hope you all have understood. Now we'll do question B. Add a full stop or question mark at the end of these sentences. Okay? We have to put a full stop or a question mark at the end of all these given sentences. Okay? Let us read number one. Is this a bear? Yes, this is a question. So put a question mark like this, okay? Like this, okay? Now, the bear is brown in color. So here we will put a full stop like this. Put a dot, okay? The bear is standing. Yes, here we will again put a full stop like this. Is he eating green? 
leaves this is a question so put a question mark like this okay now next number five Ravi gives him a balloon full stop does the bear like the balloon this is a yes question so put a question mark like this okay now next one number seven the balloon is red in color yes yes children what we will put here yes a full stop is the bear happy yes this is a question so put a question mark like this okay is the bear happy now i hope children you all have understood that a sentence is a group of words that are put together to mean something and a sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop or question mark okay and that's all for today children so for homework you all have to do the book exercise and we will meet in the next video till then stay safe stay healthy god bless you children bye bye